affected so many businesses in different ways, but it's really had an effect too on our social lives and everything that comes with that. As we know, there is no sport and we're working through our way with that. But spare a thought for those people who are going to get married. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Because the day of their dreams has changed quite a lot. They can't do it as they would have planned. With the social isolation, with the social distancing. So what do they do? I know a couple of people personally. A friend of mine, Sophie, was meant to get married and have all her family and friends come there. Couldn't do it. So just did one with her husband. We have a one of our great workers here, B. She's meant to get married. She's had to put it on hold for now. And post-virus, she'll get married. Well, there is a great initiative coming out of Melbourne that maybe they can sneak across here to Adelaide because with this social distancing at the moment, the current rule is that only the couple that get married, the celebrant and the two witnesses may attend a wedding. So no more than five people. If you think it's hard enough to work out who gets to go to the wedding now, imagine narrowing that down to five. There is a business, though, in Melbourne. They are called I Do Drive Through. They are offering car-based elopements in uh, a number of locations around Melbourne. One of the people who's doing the work is Zena Lithgow. She joins me this morning. Hey, Zena, great idea. Hey, Lee, thanks so much. It's a bit like we here in Las Vegas where there are the drive through weddings, which is a little bit of a novelty here, but you're actually providing a service so that people, it's their special day, they've been hanging out for this day to marry their loved ones and make a commitment and say, I do, they can still do it with you guys. Yeah, it's a really great way for people to still be able to make that legal commitment to each other, but keep both themselves and also us safe. How does it work? Run us through if someone... And how many weddings have you had so far? Well, um, we've only just launched a couple of days ago, but we've got a few booked in. Um, There's a month-long waiting period to get married in Australia, so no-one's been married through the I Do drive through just yet. Um, But so, yeah, they get in touch, and we've got a bunch of amazing locations around Melbourne um, that they can choose from, and they drive over, we drive over, um, you know, keep social distancing into consideration with where and how we interact with them. And, yeah, they have a really quick little ceremony and then head back home. How good is that? So the couple get there and then what, I guess, the celebrant meets them there? We meet them there. Their yep. witnesses meet them there in another car as well if they choose to bring two witnesses. Otherwise, a photographer can be one of their witnesses. If you Obviously, we do have to respect the five-person rule. Yes. Um, yeah, so we all just turn up in the location. You know, it's, it's all over within 15 minutes rings through the window? Um, so they can get work. married in the car if they feel more comfortable or yep. they're also welcome to stand outside of the car and we can still keep our social distancing. Um, but, yeah, they would exchange the rings in the car. We can obviously prompt them about how to do that without being in the car with them. Um, yeah, we can pass the paperwork into the car or they can get out and sign it on the boot, whatever mm. works for them. And the thing I love too that you're doing, Zena, is you can live stream it back to the couple's family and their friends so they don't miss out. That's right. Yeah, I mean, we're so lucky with the technology and the way it's keeping us all connected at the moment, aren't we? Um, And a few people are using it as an opportunity to just sneak off the two of them and, you know, avoid all the complexity of family situations or, you know, the cost and the big party that they're just like, all right, this is... This is the perfect opportunity. Let's just do it now. Well, people elope now, don't they? So there are, and imagine the memories that you will get from this. It's it's unusual. It's something that you know hasn't been done before. But what a great, unusual, unique, memorable moment that you can share with family and friends down the track. Yeah, absolutely. I think it makes it a little bit more fun and playful, for sure. We got married, Zena, my wife and I. We got married in New York City in City Hall, and it was thirty-five seconds. The uh, reception. It was literally, do you love him? Do you love her? Anyone have a problem with this? No, you're done. Next, and away we go. And we loved it. Like, we really embraced it. So I can imagine there would be a lot of people who would be saying, look, the virus is here. We've got to deal with it now, but our love is here. We want to celebrate it. We want to commemorate it. Let's do it this way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, as much as at the moment the government have deemed that weddings and big gatherings aren't essential, um, the ability to be married certainly is, like, Particularly at the moment, it's really important that all people can advocate for their partners in medical situations. We need to make sure that visas aren't put in jeopardy um, and also to make sure that there's no unnecessary conflict around wills and estates. So it's um, yeah, really important that people can take the step if they want to. How did the idea come about, Zena? Was there one of you in the organisation that thought, gee, we need to do this or anyone that you know directly affected by the virus? 
Um, Mel Jacob is the mastermind behind this idea. Um, and it really came to the forefront after birth, deaths and marriages closed their registry office. So obviously there were lots of couples that were planning to have that simple ceremony like what you talked about in New York yep. there um, that was no longer available to them. So they started reaching out to other celebrants looking for opportunities to be married. Um, and Mel was very aware that she wanted to make sure that celebrants that were going into those situations were also mm -hmm. safe. So um, initially she said, you know, why don't we just get people to drive to out the front of our house and we can just marry them there? Um, and then some really beautiful branding came into it and it got some really fun retro Vegas vibes. It's been a lot of fun putting oh, together the that. business. Think Great how distraction at the moment. Oh, no doubt. And think how expensive weddings can get. And with this uncertainty, maybe people are in a financial situation that they can't have the big lavish wedding that they were going to have with 100, 150, 200 guests. What a great way of just saying, you know what, we're not going to let this virus win. We want to celebrate and, you know, commemorate our love. Let's do it this way. Yeah, absolutely. We've had such wonderful feedback in the last few days um, and some inquiries from couples that have been together for over 15 years that have just kind of decided that now's the time and this is a fun way to do it. And who's to say that when the virus disappears that this business doesn't continue to flourish for you, Zena, and you can actually bring it over to Adelaide? We can't get and see you at the moment. We're not allowed to go to Melbourne, but uh, if you could bring it over here to Adelaide and give South Australians the opportunity to, this could be a, a great sort of business idea. Well, fortunately, we do know some amazing celebrants over in Adelaide. And shout out to Lauren Tabaz. I think she's listening right now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, and she's been talking me through some beautiful local locations that would work for an I do drive through option over there. So if oh. anyone is wanting to get married, please get in touch. Go to our website, idodrivethrough.com.au. Nice. Um, and we can definitely support you to get married anywhere in Australia. At the moment, we know people all over the place. How good is that? Can you give us a couple of locations, uh, ideas of locations that you're doing in Melbourne? Yeah, so um, we've got the beautiful laneways with graffiti, which is obviously very iconic Ooh, in yeah. Melbourne. Yeah, that's cool. um, Elwood Beach Car Park is another option. We've got Coburg Lake for those north siders. There's some beautiful options in the Dandenong. Um, yeah, the you know, we're also really open to places that are specifically significant to the couple, so couples are able to suggest options that are meaningful for them. Or we can just turn up at your house and do it in the driveway if you like the simplicity of it. Well, well. done. Zena, I love it. I saw it on the news and thought straight away, shot you an email on the website. I think this is great. And now that you tell us that we can do it here uh, locally in Adelaide, uh, there is the opportunity to do that. So the best way, I do drivethrough.com.au. Get on the website, have a look at it. And away we go. Let love blossom. That's it. Thanks, Cena. Appreciate that. Hey, we got a text message from Freddie. He said, what about divorce? Can we do drive-through divorces? <laughs> you know, just a little side business for you? I'll look into that. <laughs> hey, thanks, Zena. Have a great Easter. Uh, when's your first wedding? Uh, the first wedding, so as I said, there's a month uh, essentially cooling yep. off through. Oh, you can't a just have weeks. a shot, shotgun wedding like you've had in Vegas, unfortunately. So, yeah, a few, few weeks off still. Britney Spears style, just a quick one, yeah. you know, <laughs> last 20 minutes and then away you go. Hey, Zena, I love the idea. It's fantastic. I hope it goes really well for you and goes right around the country and, and people can, you know, still have that very special day, albeit differently than maybe how they'd planned initially. So, That's great right. idea. Thank, Thank you so much for sharing it forward. Pleasure. Me. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Zena Lithgow. I love that story. I do drive au. There you go. Don't put your wedding off. You can still do it. Sure, you've got to narrow it down to five people. A uh, couple of witnesses, the celebrant and yourselves, but the family can see it. If you know someone in that situation, I like it. As I say, we got married in City Hall in New York City. I was watching Letterman one night and Matt Damon was on there and he was talking to Dave and he said that he got married in City Hall by the mayor. And I said to Jessica at the time, I said, let's do that because we love New York City.